Where are we? In Tuesday Island! Actually, we're at Horn Island. <laughs> Thursday oh. Island's over there. Huh? In the Tuesday distance. Island. No, oh. Thursday Island's over there. The same! Only a couple of in here and there. Yeah, far. nearly the same. Same. The Horn Island supermarket and cafe. Basically everything here. Yeah? Okay. Yes, I heard it mentioned that it's pretty expensive to, um, to go to the shop here. And it's, boy oh boy, man, it is expensive. Check out the price of a couple of litres of milk. $5.60 for a couple of litres of milk. Man, that is pricey. And uh, for a bottle of 1.25 litre bottle of Coke. Oh, molly. And you know, it's difficult to get stuff here, so they have to fly it all in or boat it all in. So, yeah. So you can definitely get some fresh veggies. They're not cheap, but you can get them. Uh, the frozen section was pretty light. The dairy section was pretty expensive. But hey, so good. What'd you get, Craig? Show us. <laughs> Tom wants a couple of green mangoes. The Thais eat that with really spicy sugar and all sorts of cool stuff. So we're losing Kate today. Yeah. Uh, she's going ashore at Horn Island. She can hang there for a couple of days before she flies back to Cairns to meet up with her life and her family. Mm -hmm. uh, Kate, it's been a pleasure to have you on board. Thank you. You've been absolutely brilliant and an uh, important part of our crew. So it's sad to miss you. Oh, and thank you for having me too. That's right. It's been a great trip. Yeah. All right. Uh, just to let you know and everybody here know, uh, today I sent all the paperwork to Darwin mm. Border Force so they can clear us out from Darwin to go to Timor. Mm. We're so. going to sail on to Darwin and uh, hopefully the visa will be sorted by the time we get to Darwin. If it's not, we're going to sail up to Timor mm. where we can clear in visa on arrival. We won't need a visa. And then we can go to Kupang in Indonesia where we can also do visa in, on arrival. So I hadn't planned to go to Darwin originally, but yeah, well, that's the way it planned out. And if it, the, we do get the visa, then we'll just use that, go straight to Kupang. Kupang. Kupang, Indonesia. Kupang. All right, so we're gonna go get some fuel now. That's the latest from onboard stuff. So we're heading into uh, Horn Island, to the beach at Horn Island. Oh, actually, to the jetty at Horn Island. We're gonna go get some uh, fuel, maybe a cold can of Coke, and uh, drop off some rubbish. It's getting a little more crowded in here. There's uh, two cruising yachts and a cruising powerboat that's come all the way from Jakarta. There you go, it's going apparently to Brisbane, I think. There you go. So what did we buy at the supermarket, my love? Ice cream! <laughs> so it was pretty expensive, but we've got a freezer on board. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah, this is a big treat. So
there's another yacht uh, catamaran. Must have come in today or this morning. He's come all the way from Melbourne and he's come all the way up here. He's heading to Perth via Darwin. That's a big trip. Apparently they tried to cross the Gulf a couple of days ago going west from Thursday Island towards Darwin uh, but they got too much wind so they turned around and came back. Uh, as near as I know it was forecast though so I don't know. Anyway uh, when we leave hopefully in a couple of days time as the wind moderates I think they'll probably be going as well so uh, we may see them on the other side of the Gulf. At least it'd be good to have some company around there anyway. We might catch up before we go just to discuss you know where they're heading and where we're heading. It's always good to have another boat around in case you need help with something. Uh, obviously you can't help each other in the middle of the Gulf when you're at sea but uh, when you're in an anchorage if you've got a mechanical issue there's always more hands and more minds can help solve these things. So it'd be nice to catch up with them. That's from the vessel Lady D. Uh, it was Gary and Will from the Lady D. Darling, come look. I want to show you something. Crocodile. Where are crocodile? Crocodile. Crocodile. Oh my god. So he's only a little one. He's probably only um, probably a metre and a half maybe. Just sitting on the mud bank, oh. literally directly opposite the boat here. Um, you probably can't make him out. I'll try and zoom in on the editing. Um, but anyway, he's right there just sunning himself probably oh, not more than 50 metres from the boat. So this is Martin. Martin's completely nuts. Because he's going to dive in our rudder to check out that bearing. Um, and that was after we uh, saw that croc this morning beside the boat. Martin reckons they won't bother him, he's somewhat charmed. <laughs> Martin's been living here for 45 years at... 35 years at Horn Island. Lives on his uh, little boat mostly over here. And uh, if you're looking for a good mechanic at Horn Island, MI Marine, is that correct? Yep. MI Marine, he's a commercial diver as well as a mechanic. So he's about as good a mix as you can get if you've got a rudder problem. So uh, anyway, we'll wish him all the best. We'll tie a chop to his foot. to be concerned with. All right. Well that's good news. So Martin's left the boat. Uh, he had a dive for us on the rudder and had a look at the bearings. He said there's a tiny little bit of play but not enough for it to be a problem. Uh, so he's you know quite confident that we can continue on. So we're giving it a spray with some lanolin uh, spray. He reckons better than WD-40. WD-40 apparently dissipates fairly quickly. Uh, but the lanolin stays around a bit longer, so we've done that. And uh, now Tan's making dinner for or lunch for us. Yay! And then after we're going to go supermarket. supermarket again. We fed. Apparently there's another supermarket here. <laughs> <laughs> so we just scored just scored a uh, 1.5 kilo cray, a um, little painted cray, um, off uh, off one of the locals here for a pretty reasonable price. Nom, 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 nom. So he's dinner tonight. <laughs> yum yum yum. <laughs> Oh, I'll give you. Sorry, buddy, but it's the end for you. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but that's it for you. Wow, look at that. So, this morning we walked ashore. We caught up with Kate. You guys all remember Kate from episodes oh, 17 to 20 or something. <laughs> so, Kate's been staying on shore here on Horn Island before she flies back to Cairns. And we're going to go and check out a little museum here where they uh, have a World War II. Memorabilia, apparently, so we can go check it out. So we just there it is, Torres Strait Heritage Museum. Entry fees is apparently nothing. There you go. Let's go check it out. 
Well, there you go. Well. Mm. So that's apparently uh, the left, what's left of the engine from a P40 Kitty Hawk. Oh, wow, how beautiful is this? The amount of time and effort and work that went into making that. We found supermarket number two. Yeah, reasonably priced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>